All right, we are looking at lesson 98. Relationships of numbers. Find the number that is 7 tenths of the way from 30 to 40. You can probably do this one in your head. Don't say it yet. Let people figure it out. But this is one that you can probably do in your head. Any girl basketball players that need patches on their letter jacket, please go see Coach Merritt at this time. Thank you. Does everybody have an answer? No. Okay, what would you think it would be? 37. Why 37? Okay, we said the difference was 10 there. 7 tenths of 10 is? And, but how did you get the 37? What's your formula for those? Because we started at 30. Okay. It's a number line. We're starting at 30. How far do we have to Like 7 tenths from, uh, from starting at 30, 7 tenths of the way to 40. That is actually your formula. Um, where we're going to let this be our n1, our n number 2, and our fraction. So your formula is actually the first number plus the fraction. And then what? N2 minus N1. This one you may not have needed the f formula, right? Some of them you will want the formula. What number is 7 tenths of the way from 30 to 40? No, they'll give you all that information. No, they'll give you all that information. But, number that is a fifth of the way from one eighth to nine eleventh. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think so. Can you do this one off the top of your head? I mean, you might could do it now that you know your formula. You might could like figure it out in your head. But did you just go, oh, I know what that is? Like you did on the last one for some of you. Does that make sense? Why it's important to be able to plug in into your formula? You got to know what your formula is. You got to understand where it came from. What would you do for your formula? One eighth plus one fifth of what? Make sense so far? Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Nine elevenths minus one eighth. I can make it. Seventy-two over eighty-eight minus eleven over eighty-eight, right? What is seventy-two eighty-eight minus eleven over eighty-eight? Do you agree so far? Then what do you do? Okay, what is eighty-eight times five?
Okay, now what? Okay, how do I make one eighth like four forty? I don't know what four forty divided by eight is fifty five. So I'm gonna have to multiply eight times fifty five to get to four forty. So one times fifty five is fifty five. And then what do you get? One eighth. Multiply this by fifty five over fifty five. One eighth multiply by shh. Multiply one eighth times fifty five over fifty five. Eight times fifty five gives you the four forty. And then one times fifty five is just fifty five. And then, okay, y'all are saying 116 will reduce? Okay, what's 116 divided by 4? 29. What's 440 divided by 4? Does that reduce any further? So is that our answer? If you give me as a decimal, I'm going to mark it wrong. It has to be a fraction. Any questions so far? None? Okay. Looking at another example. Find the number two thirds of the way from two and one fourth to three and five sixths. Pardon the interruption. I need Amber Badger to report to the main office. Amber Badger. Did I set it up correctly? Okay. If you want to convert them into improper fractions, you can. What would you have? Mm -hmm. Common denominator would be what? could do 24. I would pick 12 because it's smaller. Oh, okay. Uh, make this 46 over 12 minus what? Mm -hmm. 46 minus 27 is 'd multiply these but will something reduce first which becomes what common denominator Miss justice yes is that destiny Taylor to the front office please sure thank you you said what And what would this one be? 81 plus... Okay, what's 81 plus 38? Will that reduce? So are we done? Does that make sense? Do what? So 36, 4 and 18, um, if I double 18, it's the same thing as 36, and 4 goes into 36. You could do 4, yeah, you can just do 4 and times 18. 
Yeah, you can do 72, and then it'll reduce down to 119 over 36. Yeah. Any other questions on these? None? Mm-hmm. 